my name is Kevort Murad. I was born in Aleppo uh, from Armenian heritage. Growing up in Syria, having two cultures in you, you know, Syrian, which you hear Arabic music, Arabic language, you know, it's very different than Armenian. And Armenian, is, uh, you know, we spoke um, Armenian at home and in school, friends and all, you know, daily we communicate Armenian language and, you know, you go outside and you shop, it's all in Arabic. I said it would be amazing to have these two cultures in one piece. When I arrived in this country, I felt like I'm completely naked. I don't have anything. Like, I need to have stories. I need to have something to, to, to say. I'm not going to be the next Jackson Pollock or William de Kooning and all that. It's already done. So, it means I have to dig into my roots. I realized the idea is the art. As soon as you create idea in your artwork and it's authentic and it's you without even showing off, you know, how you paint, without even thinking about, oh, this is going to be hung in the gallery or this is going to be sold this much. It wasn't about the material. It wasn't about the value. It was about the idea. In Armenia, when I was studying uh, painting and illustration, and slowly, slowly, I realized the line, in general, creating a line is probably the most important thing for me. How you can just create this confident line. While I was creating figurative works, I like to see the raw lines in the image. But then I said, you know, it'll be amazing to kind of squeeze the paint in it, just like to create, to take the tube and just make the line in the canvas like that. So I started practicing that, just squeezing this, the, the paint from the tube on the surface. And I started creating images related to kind of sound. So I listen to music and I create lines and I feel like it, it coexists together, these two worlds, line and sound. And then when I arrived in this country in America, I said it would be great to develop this tool to make it smaller. So I found a little plastic tube and I put my dilute paint and I start squeezing it and slowly, slowly I found thinner and more fine tube where I can just create finer lines. So I use that in the performance and I start using that in my works too. When I discovered this technique, it's kind of a creative language. It's a mysterious, unusual language. And when some, sometimes uh, people and friends, they look at it, they don't know how it's done. They ask, is this print or is this original or is this this? So I tell them, this is the way it is. You use it line by line, just one in, one out, one in, one out. Can you copyright it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't believe in copywriting. I think it should be free for everyone. Everyone should enjoy art and art making. Make art, not war. I was thinking, I'm going to do more research about what is what is like to bring Armenian manuscript into my works or Arabic calligraphy into my works. The practice, this tool that I was telling you about, and I create a line and I smear it, it's very much like calligraphy. So it somehow felt like this, this two world, this two layer just appeared in my works. I said, I would love to talk about this, this two cultures, first of all. So I was exploring that for years until 2011, when the uprising started in Syria, I felt it's not about making paintings anymore. It's about documenting what's happening in Syria. And I was thinking, I want to send a message to my neighbors, to my friends, to my colleagues to say that I'm with you. Whatever you're going through, I'm with you. Because basically 100 years ago, when my ancestors arrived to Syria, Syrian people stood next to us and gave us place and welcomed us. And we flourished there. We built our schools and um, kept our language and we felt that this is our home. So I felt responsible to create works to tell the world that I want to be next to Syrian people, not only 
about Armenian culture, not about thinking about this dual culture. I want to be next to Syrian people. So that was kind of a turning point for me and I started thinking more about art making is actually a political statement. When you are making art, it means you are documenting your time. You're not relying on other people to tell you what's happening today. You are telling from your point of view what you feel, what you stand for. So recently I was fortunate to be invited by Gallery Kuchling in Berlin uh, to uh, have a, a, a duo show with uh, another Syrian artist. His name is uh, Samman. Um, and what's uh, interesting, uh, apparently, uh, I checked his works. I didn't know uh, about him before, but I checked his works before, and I felt like there's an interesting dynamic between us. I did this piece in 2013. I call it the fight for book. So there's a book there, and you see some hands on the book. I usually don't like to describe or tell what's happening in the piece. I like people to see it from, from their point of view. But uh, I think the title will tell a lot. Uh, a fight for book. Yeah. The works that I'm showing, it's basically, they're not meant for, to do um, this show. I'm just choosing uh, some interesting works, you know, from recent works until let's say, a thing that I've done 10 years ago. In all of this, this works, the topic would be uh, coexistence. It's, it's about uh, different ethnicities being together and creating. So this idea, it's very present in my works to see kind of uh, abstract shapes, but at the same time, if you dig into it, you realize that they're actually a combination of figures and together, uh, it create, they created this interesting mosaic-like area which was, you know, for me, uh, Syria. Mm -hmm.